All right, so the goal of this video is to teach you how to make a Google form so that by the end, um, you will have a word ladder that self-corrects. Um, and what I mean by that is that if the answer for number one <coughs> is a pickle, a small cucumber that has been preserved in vinegar, uh, it's pickle. But let's just say that I think it's, maybe I spell it wrong. Um, at the bottom, it'll say not yet, but let's see what, what changes when I do spell it correct. Then it will, um, the self-correct message will go away. But if I write anything else, it'll say not yet. I mean, that's the message that I put to, for it to say. So at the top, we have the word ladder, an image that the student can scroll back up and see for each one. And then I'm collecting their email address. That's optional to see. Um, who has it done. And so clearly here we can create any word ladder, we can upload any um, picture, and they can pretty much do any word ladder. And this can this skill of self-correcting with a Google form can be used in other subjects as well, so it's a useful skill anyway. This is my final product, by the way, so here let's go through how to make it. So what I did was I titled it um, so that in case I have multiple forms, this was page eight of the of the word ladder book, um, and it's titled Money Matters. And for me, I'm collecting their email address, but you don't have to do that. I uploaded a picture of the page. If you have the book, you know you'd have a hundred of these, but I just took a picture of one titled Money Matters and I uploaded it. And so um, there's no way for it to like follow this student. Um, through the form. They just have to scroll back up and see what's next. So here we have question one. As you see, we're developing the form, so I don't have all of them, all of them yet. So I just wrote one, and I felt comfortable I could do that, because right here, it's rung one of the ladder. It's right here, and then two would be right here, three, and so they're labeled, so I feel comfortable that I can just say one. So I went to short answer text, and then I have required and the important way that I'm going to get it to self-correct um, right away without them clicking submit, they'll know if they have it right or wrong, is you're going to click these three dots and you're going to click show response validation. And that's just, so we have, it's a text answer because it's a word, not a number. So I click text, contains, and then the right answer. So I'm going to put the right answer right here. And then if they don't have the right answer yet, so if they type something other than pickle, what do you want to show up? I can say something extremely cruel, like wrong, um, you're horrible, or I could say not yet, with the feeling of they will get it, just not yet. I thought that was gentle. The easiest way to then make new questions would be to click this duplicate one. And I have the answers here to Money Matters. I'm just showing you a screenshot, but this would be in the back of the book if you choose to buy it. There's there's an answer key, and so here I'm changing. This is number two, and I'm looking at the answers right here. So it, the first one was pickle, the next one's pick, and then I'm just gonna duplicate again. I'm gonna change it to three, contains, what's after pick, pink. And so I'm gonna click duplicate again, and this is the easiest way to do it quickly. And I'm wondering if you think that this takes a long time or not. Um, that's going to be up to you whether you think this takes a long time or not. But I don't think it has to take a long time. Um, I think that once you get efficient at this, you could make 10 of these in um, 10 minutes because we're just using the duplicate button. Next is sting. And I'm going to type it down here. Anyway, you would just go through this. And I'm going to six, which is after sting, that's sing. And I would keep going until I get all the way through um, my words right here. And then you would end up with one that would go all the way through. And they can go back and see their answers. I have it where it sends them a copy. Um, and you can choose what you want the form to do in these top three buttons and settings. Um, there's more options about what you want to happen with the quiz. And if you wanted to email them the answer, because um, if they have the answers, they can, um, you know, do enrichment activities. Anyway, thank you for watching this video.